Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is another video in the Creatures Inc. series on my YouTube channel. If you missed out on the other videos, go check them out when this video ends. I'll put a link of the playlist in the description down below. In this video, I want to talk a bit more about the dedicated server system the developers are creating for this wonderful game. The last weeks, there was a lot to do about it on the official Discord server, Facebook and Steam news page. And I want to bundle all those new messages in one short video. In my previous video, in which I talked about the near or short term development, I already talked a bit about the dedicated server. But my news there was a bit outdated and that is exactly the reason why I made this video. As you may know, or not, the development of a dedicated server was not really planned that quick after the release of this early alpha game. Probably the devs felt the pressure from the community and decided to go for it. Full speed. Because of this, other development plans got shoved back a little bit, but no worries. The moment the dedicated server will be running, the developers will concentrate on all the new features they want to add to the game, as planned in their roadmap. But without further delay, here we go. We got the first message on the 23rd of April, and it stated, and I quote, we are testing for the first time a prototype of our game on a dedicated server. I will let you know more details soon. This news came as a big surprise. In the time before this news got published out of the blue, the community already asked many times for a dedicated server for the game. The answers from the developers then were that it would cost a lot of time, work and so money to do that since three quarters of the game's code would have to be rewritten in order order for the game to run on a dedicated server. And we all know, when there's money involved, everything can turn out in an unpredictable way. This first reaction of the development team was also fully understandable. They just released an alpha stage game which had to bring some money in the drawer in the first place, before the development team was going to do huge or bigger investments, without even knowing if the game would be a success. Lucky for us players, they did take the jump into the unknown and they revealed their plans with the community through this first message. Two days later, on the 25th of April, we got to read the following and I quote We are currently playing the game as a local dedicated server and it works really well, actually better than the co-op version. So currently we are working to remake the entire game code based on our old code but redone for the dedicated servers. We will keep you updated every day of our progress and we will need you to test this version with us. So after two days we already got the incredible news that the internal tests were a success. Even better than the current co-op mode we have. If this doesn't sound good then I don't know anymore. Another two days later, on the 27th of April, we got the following news. Yesterday, we have tested our game on an external dedicated server. The save system and the building system run well. We are very happy. Today, we have integrated our map into the new version of our game for dedicated server. We have a lot of bugs to fix, but we expect to be ready to test with you this new version in two or three weeks. Very nice indeed. Everything is advancing in ultra speed, but apparently there are some issues as well. Which is of course not surprising. Switching to a whole other system to run the game on is not something that goes easy. But I'm quite sure that the development team has the appropriate knowledge and they will make it work. And indeed, my assumptions were right because two days later, on the 29th of April, we got the following message. Hello, the work is progressing well on our transition for dedicated servers and we expect to be able to start public testing next week. We took advantage of this transition to improve important points of our game. Example, we redid the settings menu and here is an image that shows you the changes. Next week? Awesome! But let's not run ahead of the facts. In the meanwhile, we are the 14th of May, but there hasn't been any public testing yet. Is this a bad thing? No, not at all. I'd rather have the developers spending time on creating something good than that they would deliver half work with all possible bugs and issues that comes with it. Let them take all the time they need to come with a well-balanced dedicated server system. 
With the next message we got two days later on the 1st May, we learned why things got slowed down a bit. And I quote, Our work is moving towards converting to dedicated servers, but yesterday we had major problems with the new version of Unreal version 4.22. Today we are fixing this problem, but we are two to three days behind schedule. But I still think we could start public testing with you by the end of next week. On the 3rd of May we got to read a message that gave us some insight of what else is going to come our way with the conversion to a dedicated server system. And I quote, with the dedicated server version you can now create multiple characters and you can use them on all servers. Nice! We will be able to create more than one character in the game. Personally, I don't know if I'm going to use that feature, but I'm sure it will be good for other players. And then we got the following promising news message on the 7th of May. Hello everybody, we are finishing the integration of the gameplay this week. We added new stuff and we removed some things. We expect to test this version with some of you in private early next week and be ready to launch this new version within 2 to 3 weeks. So it looks at this point that things are going very well and if you ask me pretty fast as well. Several weeks ago I would have never thought that we would be able to talk about the dedicated servers so soon, let alone that the devs would have one running already. As of what the developers are telling us here, we could expect a launch around the 1st of June. After this message it was quiet for a couple of days, at least for what goes for the dedicated server news. The final message regarding this huge step forward came at the 12th of May and I quote Hello everyone, tomorrow we will start testing a new version of the game on our own server, a server located in North America. Here are the specs. They are talking about an Intel i7 7700K OC, 64 gigabytes of DDR4, 2004 megahertz, and a soft rate 2 times 450 gigabytes NVMe plus a 4 tera SATA. The launch of this new dedicated server version is coming soon, they say. Nice, nice. Little Beaver Games already hired the dedicated server, which is only good news. Things are really going into the right direction and it's running like a train. If you look at the specifications they gave us in the message and you do some digging, which wasn't hard if you just copy paste the specs, you'll find that a server with these credentials can easily cost more than $100 a month. Personally I think that this is a huge commitment the devs are taking here. Let us be honest and say that they do not really know yet if the game is going to be big hit. Still they are committed in every step they make and they are spending a lot of dollars to make our game experience the best they can offer. This only shows us that Little Beaver Games is really listening and they don't flinch when they have to spend money. Of course this also means that the company will have to earn some money on the game, otherwise this won't last forever. But I'm sure they have a good strategy in mind and of course they have us, the community, who can help spreading the word and make the creatures Zinc hype bigger. So don't forget people to invite all of your gaming friends to the official discord server for this game of which the link is at the bottom of the screen right now and I'll put it in the description as well. You can also get involved on their official steam forums or facebook page of which I'll put the links in the description as well. I'm convinced that if the company and the community work together on this one we can make this game big. So ladies and gents this was all I had to say about the dedicated server news. As you could hear, we will be able to play on that system very soon. I hope to meet you all somewhere in the Valley of Creatures Inc. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe yet, please click on the subscription button that will be displayed at the end of the video. See you all later!